Hello guys, uh, welcome to another episode. We are going to be discussing matters of vermiculture, vermicomposting. So in this bird, we have our vermiculture unit, where the main main activity of this system, we are reproducing worms, so that we can use them in our vermicomposting unit. So what entails in uh, vermiculture is just that we are trying to reproduce more worms, <coughs> mainly red worms, so that we can use them in our composting unit. So we have our worms in here. We have our compost or our, ma our manure, a mixture of cow dung, rabbit, droppings, some dry leaves, and making sure that our mixture is moist so that the worms can be able to thrive, to rim our eggs and all that. So as we look a bit deeper, you can see that we have some worms, a mix of uh, mature worms and young worms. This shows that uh, the worms are laying eggs, the eggs are hatching. If we look into that, we have some mature worms. Into these, we have a mix of mature worms and young worms. So, this is how we are able to tell that <coughs> the reproduction process is ongoing. So this is what this bed has. So on top here we have we have cow dung, which we normally add <coughs> in a, we well, after every one week or after every two weeks, and that is how we are able to feed our worms, to activate them, to rim our eggs, and eventually. Eventually we do harvest. So looking deeper, we can, we can also see that <coughs> the eggs are. These are some of the eggs which the worms are in. So yes, uh, our worm catcher system is running as expected. So that is what entails in our worm catcher unit though there is much more to that and after the worms have grown they have reproduced after a month after a period of 45 days to three months we can separate we can shift this compost and now introduce our worms into the composting unit we can use the same same shifted the compost to start another unit since there are a lot of eggs in the compost and that is how we are able to run and from that point we can be able to produce compost when compost in large quantities which we are able to supply to our customers to use in our farms and that is how we are able to do that uh, keep following us subscribe to our channel so that you can learn more and get more of what we are doing in vermi composting and in the production of bark soldier fries for the purpose of production of protein for our chicken for our pigs for our fish and we are going to run more thank you